Okay, in this last video, we're going to go over model attachments. So one thing that's cool about 3D printed models is we can articulate them. And there's lots of different um, disposable articulators or fully adjustable articulators you can do if you want to. In this case, we're going to use just a little quadrant one. Um, so if you come over here to select attachments, uh, we can go ahead and hit uh, invented twister ball upper or lower. So we'll hit upper first. And we can now move this little ball out. We can do the same on the lower. Just kind of put it here. The nice thing about it, since it's kind of a twister articulator, you can, um, they don't have to line up exactly. We want them kind of in the same ballpark. Uh, we can also add text if you want to, and so we can write here a little saying. We click add text, we just click, and we can move that text around. We can change the thickness of it, make it really come out if we wanted to, or even invert it so we can subtract it make it kind of go in a little bit, change that thickness. All right, when we hit next, it's going to think about it a little bit. And here we're done. So um, if we go to the actual directory, we should have three models. We'll have an upper model, a lower model, and a separate gingival mask. And so if we click over here, here we have these three. Let's go ahead and open up a few of these in Mesh Mixer and I can show you what these look like. So if we open with Mesh Mixer, you can see here that we've got kind of an odd uh, setup here, and I don't know if that is even printable. Um, what we can do is if you don't want this, you can double click it. Sorry, and select, you can double click and hit invert to select that little bit and X. We can also just sort of get rid of this portion here. Let's try that again. We can just kind of get rid of this here, hit X, and then double click and invert and get rid of that. So now we have this a little bit better. We can go into analysis and inspector and we can auto repair all so we can close it up. So now that's definitely printable. All right, that's it for this exercise. So in the next exercise, I'll hopefully go over uh, night guards.